Hello guys, welcome to our uh, Prof. One YT channel. So if this is your first time watching my YouTube video, please check the subscription button and subscribe and also like and comment and share. So today's topic is on um, engineering mathematics, which is our um, introduction to differential equation. Yes, so let's start. So now when we talk about differential equation, as in um, differential equation. An equation involves an unknown. So with differential equation, um, it's an equation involving unknown functions and its derivatives. So it's an equation involving an unknown function and its what derivative. Are you getting it? So we have some types of uh, differential equation. Actually, we have two types, but we for this video, I'm doing on only one type. That's it. So that one is the ordinary differential equation that's the ordinary differential equation so when we talk about the ordinary differential equation it is an equation that the unknown variable depends on only one independent variable let me break this down so for example if you have the third derivative that's dy over dx for this um i think the we have only one independent variable and that variable is s as you can see so the independent variable is x yeah and the dependent is y yes yeah, so if anything happens to the uh, the y depends on the x so if anything happens to the x it also happens to the y that is it that is for the ordinary differential equation so ways in which we can express differential equation so we have about three ways in which we can express differential equation so the first one is um if you see y exponent, that's y exponent, I think is a slash. It means the third derivative, the second one to with two slash, it means the second derivative as continued. But with the fourth uh, derivative, what you need to know is that when the thing is in bracket, it means it's the derivative. But when it's not in bracket, it's an exponential, right? So that one to the fourth derivative of y. You can also express it like this, that is the function of x one so you can also express it like this and also you can also express it in this form that's dy over dx that's d squared y over d x squared as continuum so these are the three ways in which you can express differential equation so let's move on to some terms in differential equation that we'll be using so the first term is order we're going to talk about order in differential equation what do you mean by order in differential equation? So the order, it is the number of times a function was differentiated. So if the function is differentiated, uh, differentiated like three times, three times is the order. So it means that that's the third derivative becomes the order. And we have another one which is called the degree. So the degree, it is the power of the highest derivative. So the power of the highest derivative. So for example, let's take some examples and try to solve it and see how we can do it. So find the order and the degree of the following. So now, the first question is given to us as uh, 1, y squared plus y exponent 1 is equal to 0. So how do you find the, um, the order and the degree? You can pause this video and also try and solve. So for this, since the derivative is first derivative, the degree or the order becomes 1 because this we don't have any is the function itself so the order is one and i told that if the exponent is in bracket that means that's the uh, derivative but there's none of them is in the bracket so the order is one and the degree since the degree the exponent as you can see if even though this one is here if we do this the exponent is one yeah so with the function the exponent is one that's where the degree is one let's move on so number two Let's take this as an example. So with this, this question is given to us to find the order and the degree. So let's go back to our definition as order. It is the number of times a function was differentiated. So when you check here, the number of times is what? Four that the function was differentiated. As I told you that, it must be in bracket to show that it's the derivative. So it's the four derivative of the function of y. So when you take that, the order becomes four. And the degree becomes 2 because the exponent is to the exponent what 2, that's the degree. Let's move on to a little bit complex uh, complex one. So there's a question given to us to find the 
order and also the degree you can pause the video to try your hands on so i hope you've tried and comment okay so with this when it's given to you in this form note that the order and degree must always be in a whole number form so this is a fraction so you must what try to reduce this in a whole number form by multiplying through by two so when you multiply through by two this will cancel this and here also will be what squared so for that instance we have that this function is not exponent 3 and this function is not exponent 2. Now, how do you find the order? Now, for us to find the order, as you know that the order is what? The second derivative. Have you seen it? The order is the second derivative. And what will be the degree? It is the power of the highest derivative. So the highest derivative is 2 and the power is what? 3. So the degree also becomes 3. Yes, the degree also becomes 3. The degree also becomes 3. Let's move on to another one with this. So you can pause the video and try this and put your answer in the comment section. So with this one, with this one, so with this one, I'm oh, sorry for that. With this one, um, the exponential is two over three. So this is over two, uh, two over three, and this is three over five. So what you need to do now here is that you use the LCM, which is fifteen. To multiply true right you use the lcm to multiply true that is 15 to multiply true so when you use that you're going to use um that is 2 over 3 times 15 and this will cancel i think this will cancel here and that will be 5 to be 5 and this will cancel making it 3 so at the end you're going to get the dy dx is when it's 10 dy squared over y but the x squared is one into nine. So how do you find the order? Now the order now becomes the second derivative because when you check, it's the second derivative. So the order is two, and what to be the exponential or the exponent of the I, uh, the order that is nine. So that's how the degree to be nine. Now we are moving on to the solution to a differential equation. So the solution to a differential equation is a class of function. This is because now when they give you an equation for you to solve. The solution is a class. So if it's for length, you get only regards to length. If it's exponential, you get to exponential. If it's regards to all, uh, that is a trick, you get to the trick, trick, trick. So let's take an example. So for this example, they say what? The second derivative of y plus 2 times the first derivative is equal to 3 times the first derivative. So with this, actually this question will be given to you and you are supposed to find a function that will fix through this. So um, that function is y exponent e is, uh, is that's y equals to e exponent x that is the function so where there is you need to find the second derivative of this function first derivative of this function and put it inside the equation to see whether it will fit the equation so let's do that so the first derivative as you know for exponential that will be e exponent x and the second derivative will give you the same e exponent s so when you put it inside you're going to get e exponent x plus 2 e exponent x which will give you 3e exponent x. So it means that this um it means that this function satisfies this equation, this uh differential equation. And for us to know that uh, we said it is a class of function, this is because we can also use another way by we using the e the same thing. So we can also use that y is equal to e exponent negative 3x. And when you use the same thing too, when you find the first derivative, you get negative 3 exponent that is negative 3e exponent negative 3x when you find the second derivative you give you 9e exponent what negative rs yes as this so when you put this in the equation uh the differential equation given to us we're going to get the same that is it's going to give you an answer and that means that when you reduce this you're going to get this and that means that this also is what um it's this also uh this equation also what fix to or make this also correct yes so that's why the differential equation is a class of function so thank you very much and also with this um determine whether y is equal to x squared plus one is a solution of this so please you can um solve and put your answer to the comment section if it's a solution you write it's a solution and if it's not a solution you write it's not a solution and we'll see and we'll correct ourselves there thank you very much so let's move on to the next thing which is initial value and boundary values problem. So we have initial value 
and banding value. What is initial value? When we talk about initial value, as an initial value, um, it's like an, uh, a differential equation will be given and they will give you a value. But with the initial value, the S values are the same. But with the boundary value, the S values are different. Yes. So let's take an example for us to understand. So I'm taking an example on the initial value for you to know that for the initial value, the X values are the same. So now let's take this. Example. Y is equal to C1 E exponent negative X plus C2 E exponent 3X. It's a general solution to the differential equation. So this is the solution. So they gave us uh, this is a general solution. So with this question, as in the finding the initial value and the boundary value, we, got that. we are not going to use the differential equation. But what you need here is the this equation. That's the equation given to us. We're not going to use it in a different form, but the main differential equation given to us. So with this, the, and they give us this. This is what I'm talking about. They said determine particular solution for the of the initial condition y is equal to three, s is equal to zero, y prime. That is why the first derivative of y is equal to four, and s is equal to zero. So as you can see, you know now the initial one, the x values are the same, but with the boundaries one, the x values are not the same. So let's see how we can solve this. So what now we do is now we have the um. The equation given to us and what you need to now do is you're going to substitute in the x and the y value and solve it simultaneously so now we know that y is equal to 3 is equal to 0 so we put the values inside that's 3 is equal to c1 yes one is 0 plus c2 that and when you do that correctly you're going to get 3 is equal to c1 plus c2 so with the second one too but with the second one they say the first derivative so we need to find the first derivative of this function so when you find the first derivative of this function before you put in the four. So as you know that the first derivative as in this is being a negative this one. So negative one that will be negative c1 e exponent negative x. So when you do that, you are going to get negative c1 e exponent negative x plus 3c2 e exponent 3x. Yes, as you can see here. So now when you put in the uh, zero to the x, you're going to get this, and when you put three. And that's 4 to the y, you get this. So the first equation is going to give you 3 is equal to c1 plus c2. And the second equation is going to give you 4 is equal to negative c1 plus 3c2. So when you solve this simultaneously correctly, you get c1 to be 5 over 4. And you get c2 to be 7 over 4. After getting this, you need to put this back into the equation, which will give you y is equal to 5 over 4 e exponent negative x plus 7 over 4 e exponent 3x so this is the initial value but with the boundary values with that one they'll give you a different or uh, x values so that one you saw for two equation that's top two equation two equations right so you're going to get different x values but with the initial one that's the difference between the boundary and the initial values the initial values have the same x value but with the boundary one they have different x value thank you very much for watching this video and i hope you liked the video Please comment, like, and share. Subscribe for your subscription. It's a great count to my channel. Thank you very much.